What's up locals? Well, no, this video was not filmed months ago. It is April 16th today. This video will probably come out on the 18th or maybe the 19th. And today we are talking about the Nord versus the Yarn. Kind of an interesting one. Uh, we've had a bunch of questions since posting our Nord video um, asking us about that comparison and asking us if there is room for both discs in a bag when the Yarn is a 4.5 303 and the Nord is a 5403. Um, great question, one I hadn't even thought of. And uh, if you haven't seen our like sort of full review, I will leave it up in the cards. Um, but you know, we got out yesterday, believe it or not. Uh, you will see the footage here. And yes, this was yesterday. We had no snow yesterday. And we kind of got dumped on last night. Uh, it's not supposed to last long here in Alberta, but uh, anyway, I got out yesterday. I threw both discs. First shot I threw, you can see here, I wasn't really aiming at the basket. You didn't have room uh, to, you know, kind of come in at the basket with a hyzer. I was more just trying to show the flight of the discs. So, um, you know, side by side, these discs flew almost identical in that backhand situation. And um, what I really want to sort of spend a minute on is this second one where you know, I put a slight bit of ante on these two because when you look at the basket um, coming in, I was a little bit pinched off on the left hand side. So I wanted this disc to turn a little bit before it faded, before it hooked up uh, to come into the basket. And the Nord gave me a pretty similar flight, but I got that little bit more distance. And I feel like this sums up the difference between these discs perfectly. Pretty similar flight. I would say maybe the yarn is slightly more stable, um, just slightly, um, but that five speed versus the four or 4.5 they call it, um, you know, only you're really gonna know if you need both of those discs, but I think this sums it up perfectly. Uh, I got the flight I was looking for out of the Nord and the yarn I pretty much got the, the flight I was looking for, but I was just that little bit shorter. And you know, 10, 15 feet isn't a big difference until you're on the green and then all of a sudden it feels like it's a pretty big difference. So um, we threw this, these two discs um, in a few different uh, scenarios. Um, while I threw them on forehand, I didn't get a good forehand out yesterday. Um, but I feel like the first couple of throws uh, between that just simple hyzer line just into the middle of the field and then that slight turnover shot where I you know got it on a little bit of ante and then faded into the basket that really summed it up so you know ultimately you're going to know the difference you're going to know your use case and if you need um, you know both discs or not and um, for me I look at my yarn very much like you know it's the zone in my bag for lack of a better term that overstable approach disc that you know everyone kind of wants to have in their bag that's my yarn and this disc you know I like to think about this as kind of my rock right it's kind of that disc that I think you know over time will beat in a little bit and will end up you know kind of providing me with that sort of you know stable mid-range that's going to give me fade that eventually you know even with my power will start to provide me with the opportunity to throw that as like a bit of a flip up shot um, it gives me some nice dependable distance, but not super glidey that I'm going to blow by. Like, you know, I think it's that four glide is a really kind of sweet spot for a mid range, especially when you're, you know, if you're approaching the, the green from there. So anyway, I uh, wanted to just kind of keep this one quick and short. Um, but we did have some questions about the difference between the yarn and the Nord. So, uh, I think this showed it perfectly. If you have any questions about uh, either of these discs, please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments. We will try our best to uh, respond to your question as well as, you know, maybe even it gives us the idea for our next video. So, and oh my gosh, one last thing to add today. Um, I was blown away, like absolutely blown away when I checked my email today and saw that we had a uh, donation through the website and app, Buy Me A Coffee. Our friend Lisa um, hooked us up uh, with a small donation and honestly, I emailed her already to tell her that it made my day, but it did. Um, you know, I work really hard on this channel. I really want this brand to grow. And you know, those small donations, whether it's through our Patreon community or through Buy Me A Coffee, it's just incredible. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Ryan. This is Local. We are Local.